Today's Maverick Minute. Eight easy steps to start a successful e-commerce business. Before we begin, a friendly reminder to subscribe to our channel and check out our different playlists. I'm sure you'll find great information for your business. So, step one, find your niche. One of the biggest challenges of online selling is competing with major retailers. By finding a smaller segment of customers, you'll tap into a narrower market where you'll have a greater chance to build brand loyalty and add value to your product. Step two, make your business official. Before you start selling, you need to decide on a business structure. You also need to do some research to see if there are any required permits or licenses that your business needs to apply for. Then you register your entity name, DBA or trademark. Then you apply for EIN, employment identification number, and you register your domain, a unique URL. By the way, we have a complete guide on the different types of business structure on our website. Now, your third step is to pick an e-commerce platform. An e-commerce platform software is the heart of your online store, and you gotta pick the right one for you. Sellers who prioritize ease of use should look for cloud-based e-commerce software. These all-in-one selling solutions typically provide you with website builder tools, customer support, and secure website hosting. On the other hand, if you would prefer to have a lot of control over your site and you have a decent amount of technical experience under your belt, open source software might be the best choice. Also, before opening your online store, you have to create your e-commerce selling policies. And that's your step number four. In order to accept online payments, you need a payment processor. And for this, you have two options. Either you sign up with a merchant account or you integrate a payment service provider. I know this part can get tricky. That's why Merchant Maverick has created a free ebook on the matter. The link is here below. You will also need to create a refund and return policy and determine your shipping strategy. Now, step five, set up your online store. This is where you choose a template for your online store, add inventory, and price your products. You will also need to factor in search engine optimization tactics and make sure that your online store is mobile friendly. Also very important, make sure to secure your site. You wanna make sure that your customer's payment information is secure. That brings us to our step number six, use the tools of the trade. As you peruse your software's app marketplace, you should consider integrating with software in a few different categories. In particular, you should look for tools to manage your SEO, customer relationships, and accounting. Now that everything is set up, it is time to bring customer into your online store. So step number seven, market your new online store. There are a variety of ways to market your online store, such as email marketing, social media, word of mouth, um, online advertising, and much more. Whatever methods you choose, make sure they are sustainable in the long run and that you can maintain a good return on investment. And finally, here's your final step. Number eight, Final step, keep researching and improving. At the beginning of the journey, you will probably be wearing all of the hats. CEO, head of business, graphic designer, web developer, bookkeeper, head of marketing. So even as busy as you'll be, it's important to keep searching for ways to improve your store. That's it for today. Come back next week for the part two video in which I will address questions for you to answer and give some details about our preferred e-commerce platform options. See you next week.
Want more info and details on how to start an e-commerce business? Check out the links. You also might like our video on how to find your niche market. Oh,